Hello, y'all. Welcome back. Today we are starting off, kicking off the gift guides for 2022. I'm excited to share with you guys my picks for husband, the man in your life. I mean, mainly your husband, though some of these things could absolutely be given to like a father-in-law or your own dad, but some of them maybe not. So mostly for the husband, but maybe you could gift it to a father or a father-in-law. I'll leave that up to you. Use your own discretion. Okay, you'll know. You'll know. Let's get into it. Let's start talking about the gift ideas. These are based off of my own husband, things I've purchased for him in the past that he has really liked receiving as a gift. Some of these things may not be uh, your husband's jam. You know, he may not be into that. But that's why these guides are fun, because hopefully you'll get some new ideas, something that you didn't think of or something that uh, maybe you thought of before but already forgot about, which happens to me all the time. Okay, these are in no particular order, nor are they in a price point order. We have some higher end and lower end, so everything will be linked down below in the description box. Uh, maybe down there I'll sort it in some kind of logical order. You will see if you look below. I can't tell you that right now. First up is a Blackstone grill. So this is obviously a slightly higher price point budget item. However, I will tell you that uh, this grill has just been the love of my husband's life. I feel like he has three loves of his life. His grill, his dog, and I think I'm somewhere on that list. I'd, I'd like to think so. I'm confident that the dog and the grill are on the list, though. So we had a smaller Blackstone that we got when we did our RV traveling. So they actually make this in multiple sizes. So if you are somebody that lives in an apartment or a condo and you've just got a little patio, they come in various size options. This is like a hibachi grill to me. I call this like my Benihana fried rice grill. OK, that's what he makes for me on it that I love so much. But he makes a ton of other things on our Blackstone grill and he loves it. He babies it. Uh, it's just it's it's kind of cute to watch. Uh, but if your husband is into cooking, uh, I know lots of people are like super into like Traegers and smokers and green eggs and all of those things. I'm not saying that any of those things are bad or wrong. I'm just saying my husband in particular loves the Blackstone. So maybe give that one a whirl if you've got a guy on your list that you're like, I'm not really sure, but maybe maybe give that one a whirl. And along with the grill, my husband really loves the meat church seasonings. So he has a wide variety of these seasonings. We have an entire drawer in our kitchen full of meat church. Uh, like I don't even remember. There's something like the gospel, something I don't know. It's all very punny, which of course I appreciate, but, uh, but they're delicious. That's, that's what I know is that they're delicious because I just eat the food. I can't tell you too much about the different types, but I know they have like sampler packs, variety packs. Maybe your husband already has a Blackstone or a grill that he really loves. Uh, and you know that he doesn't already have the meat church seasonings. That could be a good thing to give him as a gift, a stocking stuff, or even just to do one if you didn't want to do the sampler. But that gift is definitely like husband and wife approved, you know? Okay, these next couple things, it brings such joy to my heart because these are actually items, some of these are items that I shared with you guys in a recent like Amazon Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I can see on my end what people purchase and stuff. And it's so funny because I feel like you might think that like the most purchased item for me each month from Amazon is some kind of sweater or earrings or something like that. Uh, but <laughs> this last month, it was definitely uh, things that just made my little heart sing, such as this portable tire inflator. I think this makes a fabulous gift, okay? Getting a, like having your tire go low and just need a little bit of air, right? It's not, you don't need to do like a full change of a tire. This is a great gift for men or women because, well, we all drive cars that all have tires. Hopefully your car has tires. It's really a good gift for anybody. Probably include it in other gift guides, okay? Because like I said, men aren't the only ones with tires, but men will really appreciate this gift. I don't know, women, we might be like, thanks, like I need that, I could use it, but it's not such like an exciting gift to us where I feel like, Men get excited about weird things sometimes, like tire inflators. The other thing on the list is a laser measuring tool. Uh, there's a couple on Amazon that I shared with you guys at different price points. There's one from Bosch, and I can't remember the name of the other brand. Uh, however, they're kind of like, is this something you're going to use occasionally, or is this something you're going to use all the time? That kind of helps you determine which price point I feel like 
makes the most sense to go for. But this is such a practical tool to have uh, in your garage because it's not just like you don't have to be a construction worker to use this. There's so many very practical uses for this. And uh, I, I highly recommend, okay, again, I purchased one and got like the little tripod thing for it and everything. And it's so great for projects outside, projects inside. I just can't recommend a laser, laser. why can't I, I keep trying to call it a laser, laser, what's wrong with my mouth? Laser measuring tool. Next up, this is something, again, this could kind of go across the board for all gift guides, and I've shared it in a different gift guide before, so I'm just going to breeze through it really quickly, but it is some kind of portable charging system for your phones, your uh, headphones, all of that kind of stuff. I have a few different ones that I like. I have two specifically from Anchor that I have absolutely loved. The wireless one that just like magnetizes to the back of my phone uh, so that I can still carry around my phone, use it. There's no, nothing's plugged in. It's just kind of magnetic, but also wireless and it's charging. Love that so much. And then I also have another one that is like a rectangle shape that you plug into the wall to fill it up with its charges. And then it does have a cord, USB-C, uh, to charge all kinds of things. And my son was using it um, in the car the other day to be able to play his currently dead Nintendo Switch. So it has many practical uses. They come in a lot of different fun colors. Again, would make a great stocking stuffer. Uh, but if you've got a husband that travels a lot for business or perhaps it's just, I don't know, if you're in the car, you probably have a car charger, but maybe what they do for work, uh, they are, don't have access to an outlet all day that kind of thing. That's what really makes these shine is if you're traveling a lot or going places or doing things that you don't have access to an outlet. So highly recommend the portable power bank chargers of all kinds. I'm saving the cheeky stuff for the end. So if you were thinking, gosh, Angie, are you going to share any of your like dirty cheeky gifts? They're coming. They'll be at the end. Uh, I try to get through like the main stuff because a lot of people fall off watching videos. And so I like to save that stuff that makes me look like a weirdo for the end of the video, but we'll get there. My fellow weirdos, we will get there. Like I said, everyone's not going to be into this, but cigars. My husband enjoys smoking cigars. Uh, he smokes cigars with my dad and my brother-in-law, and it's, you know, their manly thing that they do. Now, obviously, this is kind of something that if you have a husband that enjoys cigars, if he's a very random cigar smoker, then you could definitely just purchase something for him, like some kind of gift cigar like I'm going to recommend and not have to worry about whether or not he's going to like it because I feel like it's really only like cigar connoisseurs that are going to be extra particular about the type of cigar that they like. Uh, however, I found this really beautiful, it's a kind of variety set of cigars and what drew me to it was actually I was looking for the cigar that Winston Churchill used to smoke and I was going to get those for my husband for Christmas. Um, and this has a Winston Churchill cigar in it, amongst others. I just thought it was a cool looking, different type of uh, variety pack gift set of cigars. So we're not big, like we don't have like a lot of alcohol. So there's lots of cool like beer making kits and whiskey glasses. And, you know, when you look at men's gift guides, like let's be honest, it's a lot of like beer stuff, whiskey stuff. I do see cigar stuff on there. I don't know. Some of the things that are on there, I'm like, my husband is not into any of that stuff at all. Like, I don't know if I have just turned him into some kind of redneck or what, but like, he's not into some of that like fancy stuff, you know? So trying to find something that's like nice and unique that he'll like, uh, but that isn't like for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Like a gift that he's like, this is nice if I was a different kind of dude. <laughs> Cigars, I'll link them down below. I thought this was a lovely gift set. I actually got one for my dad and for my husband. I am gonna go on the path of like, this is on every gift guide, but I do think it is worth mentioning because this is the kind of thing that men just don't buy for themselves, is a nice pair of slippers. Uh, the Ugg slippers, there's another sort of knockoff version that's fantastic. Uh, Rothy's has some really lovely slippers. I have just tried their shoes in the last like month or so, and I'm thoroughly impressed, arguably some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on my feet. And that's really what men care about, at least in my experience, is comfort more than anything else. Like they don't want you to buy them like something that's, I don't know, hot pink and floral. But at the end of the day, for them, it's really about like comfort. And it's not a gift that they're, you're going to get some big happy reaction about. But later when they put it on their feet, they're going to be like, oh, man, 
This is nice. A nice pair of slippers. Maybe don't have that be the only thing you gift, but if you've got a little room in the Christmas budget, a really nice pair of slippers is definitely a really good gift because it's something they will really get some like actual practical use out of, but likely not purchased for themselves. I have told you guys, and I don't have anything specific from this website, but I wanted to share it because this is something that I feel like if you have a difficult to buy for, a difficult to shop for husband, but you kind of know his interests, one of my favorite websites is called Uncommon Goods. And if you go there and like sort uh, by like, sort of like if they're into fishing or, you know, golfing or whatever, it's going to narrow down for you some really like different, unique gifts. And so it wasn't necessarily where there was like one thing that I felt like I had to share with you from the website. It's just in general, I think it's a great place to go if you're looking for unique gifts, not just for men, um, for anybody in your life. There's just un fun stuff. It's on, they call it uncommon goods for a reason. It's stuff that you don't see everywhere. It's stuff that sometimes you might be like, I wouldn't have even have a thunk it. I wouldn't have even have thought about it. So yeah. Definitely recommend that website. And then I purchased something uh, for my dad from a very similar website, not Uncommon Goods, but I'll link it down below. I believe it's actually like a UK website, but they had these uh, desk name plates, basically, like the wood with the gold placard like name plate that you would put on your desk at work. Uh, now my dad works from home, so this is just for fun, obviously, which is why uh, I, I saw on the website that they had one that said uh, La Grande Fromage or the big cheese. And I thought that was hilarious. So I ordered my dad a the big cheese nameplate for his desk. Again, it's my dad. If there's anything he wants, he's going to buy it for himself. So this is my opportunity I, as I see it to buy him something that's just kind of like fun, funny, unique. In the past, I've purchased him, uh, you know, the established titles where you can buy them a small piece of land in like Scotland. And then they get this official placard that says like Lord Jeffrey Flanagan or, you know, Lord Christopher Braniff. Uh, they get this like official title. He loved it. Loved it. Uh, you can pay for the framing through the website. I didn't. I just had them send me the piece of paper and then I went to Hobby Lobby and framed it for a lot less money. Oftentimes, unless you're buying like a necessity for somebody, then gifts for a husband or a dad or a father-in-law are going to be things that they wouldn't buy for themselves, right? It's just going to be something a little bit different, unique. And that's really fun if you've got a, a dad who's or a father-in-law or a husband who would be into that. I think that's a great gift, both of those things, the like nameplate as well as the little piece. I think it's like a one by one, but and you can actually go there. Okay. Like it's an actual thing. That's not a lie. You can go there and see your little one by one square piece of land that you own in Ireland or Scotland or whatever. But okay. That brings me to, so last year I made my husband a, like I got him like a coffee tumbler, a larger like coffee mug tumbler for when he goes out fishing. Normally at home, he likes to drink his coffee out of small coffee cups because he feels like it stays hotter longer. But if he's going to go out fishing or whatever, then he's going to want a travel cup. And I uh, got him like a slightly larger one and I used my Cricut. Now this is really a fun, honestly, just like very fun to make funny. That's what I do with it. You could make serious, but I like to find like funny um, files, like SVG files on Etsy or whatever, and then use my Cricut to put them on to mugs and t-shirts and hats and whatever. So like last year I made my boys, my sons, like Taekwondo bags with their names on it. And I made my husband this mug um, with this kind of funny little quote on it um, that was inappropriate, but funny. And it was a stocking stuffer and he loved it. it. Made him laugh. In that same vein, I found this other mug on Amazon for my husband. Now this is a gift that uh, I will have him open in not secrecy, but like this is one of those that he's going to open, look at, and then close. But it is funny. If your kids can't read, then it's great. If they can read, then maybe not. But I thought it was hilarious. And uh, well, again, my husband and I have known each other since we were like 13 years old. And, and we both just have like 14 year old boy sense of humor a lot of times. So I thought it was funny and I know he would think it was funny. Maybe your husband wouldn't or you wouldn't, but I do. So different strokes for different folks, I guess. Which brings me to the ball cream. Ah, I told you we were gonna get weird here at the end. Uh, so if you have a husband who is trying to put baby powder down there, you know, we live in the South, it's hot. Listen, I don't need to talk to you about like 
uh, we don't need to discuss the, de- the finer details of how this happens or why it's a necessity, okay? There's lots of things we women use and products we use upon our skin and at various places that we would rather nobody ask why exactly we need that, okay? But men don't always do a good job of like, we will go, women, we'll go research the crap out of something. We'll be like, and what do I use for razor burn? And how do I get rid of this boil? And you know, whatever. Men, they don't like to do that. So they're like, I saw it in a movie once where that guy said that he put Windex on everything. So I guess I'll just put Windex on it. They don't do, they don't want to do the research for these things. And they're certainly never going to ask like a doctor or something about problems that they're having. Not that this is a problem. Ball sweat isn't a problem. It's perfectly normal. The point is, is that in lieu of having baby powder all over or like talc powder or something like all over your bathroom, which is what happens in my house, because the process of fluffing with baby powder is apparently a very messy one. And so I walk in the bathroom. I'm like, why is there baby powder all over the floor? This stuff is a cream to powder ball cream. So it stays nice and contained in this little jar. People, men seem to really like it. I mean, I don't know what I would use it for. Maybe boob sweat. I wonder if it would help with that. But it's a cream or thigh rub. I'm getting ideas now. This could be a really funny and also very helpful, practical, useful stocking stuffer for your husband if you know that he could use a little help in this department. But like I said, it's a cream and then it turns to powder. So my husband at first was like, what is this? And I'm like, no, 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 read the thing. It says cream to powder. It becomes a powder after, so it doesn't make a big mess. Ball cream, there you go. Somehow we spent more time on ball cream than any other gift. That's gonna be it for this video. I do have some other suggestions. I will link them down below as well as link you directly to like my men's gift guide page where you can see everything all together. And I kind of add things there. It's always hard in these videos because it's like I filmed the video, I put the video up, and then a couple days later I'm like, ooh, add that, add that. So the link down below to like the overall men's gift guide will be in the description box and then you can go there and see if I've added anything else if you're still looking for some ideas that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you found something in this video that might make a good gift for your husband or your dad or your father-in-law that is it for me today y'all and I will see you guys again very soon Bye.